-hmm. fighting yeah. corruption. Mr. Amido. For little I know of him, he will go after the truth. You know, he will go after the truth. The truth shall make us free. And as I said before, even if his own son is charged with a heinous offense, he'll go after him. I will go after him too. Because you see, this country is more important to me, to him, than my own family. Because if, if the country didn't exist, my family wouldn't, my family wouldn't exist. There are many Ghanaians today, Kafui, uh, I don't know how old you are. I think you have told me before, but i probably forgotten. But the only thing about money, I mean, I, I don't know where this came from. All my life, I've served my country. Money is the least of my worry. When I joined the army, money wasn't the reason why I joined the army, to serve my nation. But today, you come to politics to make money. You go to the army to make money. Whatever you do, go to make money. And that, you know, and that takes us into all kinds of realms of, of, of corruption. You come to power, you acquire half of a cry as your property. So as a people, we are morally bankrupt. We are bankrupt morally. We have no belief in anything just to acquire wealth. That is, that is where I'm coming from. So I back, I mean, I support you. Somebody, he is very firm. I am firm. And those who know me, I will not take anybody for a prisoner. If you commit a crime, I will deal with you. I will deal with you because that crime will transcend, you know, and touch all of us. Because what do you deny the people of this country? The money which you have gone into development, which you have employed the youth, and the women on the streets, because you have stolen money which shouldn't have been stolen. You are committing not only a crime, but also a sin against God. Because you say you are a Christian. You go to church every Sunday. And you, you look into God's face, you go to uh, Christ the King, you sit down, uh, whatever it is, uh, you are giving the, the center pew and so on. And then you go and steal the people's money. I couldn't believe it. So, fighting crime, I support the president, whether you succeed or not. Because the crime, sorry, the crime of corruption is much deeper than just catching criminals. You have to stop them if you can stop them. Prevention is better than cure. But whether we can start, go deep enough. But you see, people, people who are worried and in this society should, should remember that today they are, they are afraid that they will be the victims. Why should they be af afraid? I've said the NDC, I've said every government, but I have no little fear. I sleep, I don't have any, any dream of, uh, you know, uh, somebody coming for me because I've committed a crime. I've never done that, and I will never do that. But the, the, the prosecution that we will entail after the, um, the mathematical start work will carry on. The MPP will not be in power forever. One day, they will also be on the civilian side. So let's create a country that it will be clean enough for all, all of us to live in it. What do you make of uh, some who are saying that, listen, really the greatest credentials of Mr. Amit, Martin Amido is that he went after um, NDC um, wrongdoing, so, so, so he has an axe to grind with the NDC. So this, yeah. this is like uh, the president using him to do his dirty work. Yeah, but if a man like that could go after his own, his own colleagues who, have, who we think have committed criminal offense, if a man can go after, if I can go after my own son, why wouldn't I go after other criminals? That is his highest uh, you know, credential, that he's seeking the truth. And as I've said, today I come, I'm coming here. I see young people start roaming the streets, selling dog chains. Who cause? Now who cause them? Because we have not done justice with our national wealth. Everybody has stolen money. Everybody. And I can tell you, I, 